Hi, fellow citizens. I'm State College Mayor Ron Filippelli. And I wanted to provide the community an update on the COVID-19 pandemic and local vaccine distribution. First, I want to thank the community for their resilience thus far. And we have all been through so much as a nation and as a community. And to residents of all ages, healthcare, workers, local business owners and employees, and everyone else, please stay strong as we begin to recover from this pandemic. Earlier this week, Governor Wolf made several <coughs> Uh, changes to mitigation strategies in the state. These include <clears throat> revised maximum occupancy limits for indoor events to allow for 15% of maximum capacity, uh, maximum occupancy, regardless of the venue size, and revised maximum occupation limits for outdoor events to allow for 20% of the maximum occupancy, regardless of the venue size and the elimination of out-of-state travel restrictions that uh, were previously in place. These changes will mean, among other things, that athletic events will have fans in the stands. Restaurants will continue to have limited occupancy of 25% unless they are self-certified, which increases the occupancy to 50%. These were database decisions by the Pennsylvania Department of Health and Governor Wolf. Borough staff are currently reaching out to local businesses, restaurants, and bars to inform them of these changes, and they are available to answer any questions. I want to remind residents that these changes do not impact our local emergency COVID-19 ordinance that limits social gatherings in all housing types to 10 people and requires mask wearing in public. The community should still continue to take everyday steps, like mask wearing, limiting gatherings and washing your hands to stop the local spread of the pandemic. <clears throat> While there is light at the end of the tunnel, we must continue to help our neighbors and frontline workers by limiting the local spread of COVID-19. The local vaccine distribution has been slow throughout the state due to supply and adverse weather. This is being felt here locally with the demand for the vaccine outweighing the supply. But things are beginning to move rapidly as supply increases and more locations for vaccinations open. Happily, the Food and Drug Administration and Centers for Disease Control and Prevention last weekend authorized the Johnson & Johnson vaccine for emergency use. This increased single-dose COVID-19 vaccine will be provided first for pre-K to 12 teachers and other school staff. The overall goal is to get more students safely back in their classrooms. Now, I want to commend the State College Area School District and other educational institutions for their efforts in dealing with this unprecedented situation. The more community members that we are able to, to get vaccinated <coughs> will help protect those most vulnerable in our community and limit the spread of the virus. Residents should visit healthpa.gov for the latest information about the pandemic and vaccines. You are able to sign up through the state to be notified when it is your turn to get the vaccine and view all the local approved vaccinators in the area. And you can visit our website for local updates at www.statecollegepa.us slash coronavirus. Thank you very much and stay safe.